Welcome to Standing Grace with Alan McQuarrie, a ministry of Grace Community Church in Brockville, Ontario. I'm your host, Alex Philippi. We all know life is hard, but Jesus is here for you. He wants to encourage you through his word and remind you there are that many you can believers always stand in his right grace. Right now who are struggling with their lives, trying to figure out what is happening and how to survive and how to pay the bills and all the things that life throws at us, as well as illness and struggles and marriage problems and children and everything else. And we wonder, why doesn't the Lord help us more? Certainly the Lord has the ability to step in and do whatever he wants, and certainly we know that the Lord owns the cattle on the thousand hills, and we know that he can do anything he wishes. And we've seen and heard how the Lord has done amazing things in the lives of other people. But how come I'm not experiencing any of that? You know, we need to understand that it's hard to fully grasp what goes on in our lives and the struggles that we go through when we also know at the same time that we have a God who loves us and who cares for us and really wants to give us good things and give us life and life abundantly. And yet we're not experiencing that. We're experiencing all sorts of troubles and struggles and problems. And we wonder, where is the Lord? Why doesn't he step in and pour out some grace and blessing upon us? Well, when we look back in the word of God, we find the story of the Lord with Lazarus and these two ladies, Mary and Martha, who had a brother named Lazarus. In John chapter 11, it talks about the fact that Lazarus was becoming very sick. And so they sent a message to the Lord to come and to heal him. And the Lord didn't come. In fact, he purposely stayed away for another couple days until Lazarus actually died. And here we find these women confused because they didn't understand why the Lord would do that, why he ignored their request, why he delayed, why he did not do the things that he had done in the lives of so many other people because they knew of the miracles. They knew how the Lord just simply gave the command with Jairus' daughter and the centurion and the servant, and it happened. And The Lord didn't need to go to their house. He just spoke the word and they were healed. And so I'm sure they were left very confused as to why the Lord allowed their brother to die, especially when the Lord replied back and told them that Lazarus was not going to die and that what was happening was for the glory of God. Well, they certainly believed what the message was from the Lord, and they believed that their brother was going to get better, but he didn't. He actually died. What they didn't understand is what the Lord had planned, that the Lord purposely stayed away so that Lazarus would die. But it was the ultimate plan of the Lord Jesus to demonstrate his complete authority and the victory that he has by raising Lazarus from the dead. But Mary and Martha didn't understand any of that. They only saw the pain. They only saw the confusion. They only saw the fact that the Lord seemingly ignored them. But the Lord had a plan. The Lord had a purpose. The Lord had a great opportunity to demonstrate his glory in their lives. Well, when we look at our lives, we ask ourselves, why is it that the Lord doesn't provide us the money we need to pay our bills? Why is it the Lord causes us to struggle with our marriage? Why is it that our children go through the difficulties that they go through and their marriages fail and how much burden and stress that puts on us as well? We wonder why God doesn't do something amazing like he promised he would do. Well, the fact is that we don't understand what the Lord is doing or why he does what he does. But the question really is, do I need to? Do I need to understand 
can I not trust the Lord regardless of how things are in my life? Do I have such little trust and confidence in the Lord that somehow I need everything explained to me before I will trust him, before I will step out in faith or do something bold for him? I hope not. Our confidence in the Lord is built in a relationship. It's when we know that the Lord is there for us and when we've seen him work in our lives so many times before. Those are the times where we grow to have a confidence in the Lord to know that whatever the future holds, he'll be there for us because he was there for us before. Lazarus was going to be raised and Mary and Martha needed to trust the Lord and realize that have confidence in the one that you love because he will never let you down. Sometimes it's hard because we want the results that we think we should get. We want the Lord to operate and to do the things that make sense to us, especially when we've seen it happen in other people's lives. We've seen the Lord do some great things in the lives of other people. Why won't he do it in mine? Well, we don't know the mind of the Lord. And again, I need to come to the place in my spiritual walk where I'm able to trust the Lord regardless. There are many believers around the world right now, many of our brothers and sisters in Christ, who are struggling way worse than you are or I am. And they have joy in their relationship with the Lord because they realize that regardless of whether they have much or in little, whether they have wealth or whether they have poverty, as Paul says, they have learned to be content in whatever their situation and the contentment is not based on how happy we are. It is not based on the emotions of the moment. It is based on a confidence and trust that the Lord is in control. Absolute sovereign control of every detail, of every event, of every human. You know, the earth is the Lord's and all it contains, the world and all who dwell in it. And we're reminded of the other wonderful passage which tells us that the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he directs it as a water course whichever way he pleases. The Lord is sovereign. He is the king currently over all things. He is not battling with the world or battling with Satan, hoping to gain victory. The Lord is on his throne. And we need to be encouraged to remember, regardless of how much money or how my life is or how my health is, or regardless of the struggles I'm going through, the Lord is risen, reigning, and he is coming again. And my joy is in the fact that I have a Savior who loves me, who never abandons me, who never walks away, who never gives up on me, who never throws me aside or casts me away. Today, you may be struggling. That's probably true. You may be wondering why things are not better in your life. That may be true as well. But I can only tell you this. When you fall at the feet of Christ, like Mary did when the Lord came, when you say, Lord, I love you, when you trust the Lord in areas of your life that are hard, God honors. The Lord is not some harsh dictator who does not bless and honor those who honor him. Rather, he mightily bless those who bless him and honor him. The Lord knows your life is difficult right now. He knows the troubles. He knows what the what tomorrow holds and the struggles that you're going to face that you don't even know about yet. And yet, if you're able to say, Lord, I love you, I trust you, I have confidence in you, then the Lord blesses you. Blesses you in ways that you do not see often. He blesses you in ways that are yet to be revealed. But regardless of anything, 
the Lord is glorified in it. And isn't it that our goal is to glorify Christ, to give him honor and praise, to allow him to realize that we love him and trust him? I understand. I wish many things in my life had gone a different way as well. But I am today where God wants me to be, and I'm happy, and I am joyful, and I am praising because I know that my Savior is in control, and I can trust him. If you need someone to pray with you, go to our website, because we want to uh, be there for you. You can click on that. You can contact us. Let us be a part of your life. I'm Al McQuarrie. Join us for another podcast next week here in Stand Thank you for being with us today on Standing Grace. I'm Alex Philippi inviting you to join us for more teaching like this in person at Grace Community Church in Brockville, Ontario. And to join us online at standinggrace.com. Until next time.